Hello everyone, my name is Alex Silva and this is Image Weekly. Hi there, today I wanted to talk to you about tripods. Whether you are a seasoned professional or a, um, an amateur photographer, some, somebody who's just starting, at some point you will need some sort of support for your camera. And, well, we have quite a few options uh, for us to choose from. And I'm going to start from the most recommended solution that I have, but, uh, but I'm going to try to cover many options. And, of course, I'm going to, to tell you what to avoid because, well, some tripods are simply not good enough. Uh, so, well, let, let's go back a bit. Why do you need a tripod? Well, uh, you probably need uh, to, ch or you're probably interested in shooting, let's say, landscapes. Well, in those cases, uh, you're going to need, um, if, uh, well, in, in order for you to achieve a great depth of field um, and great reproduction of your color, you're going to use low ISO, um, really narrow um, apertures or diaphragm apertures, and then you're going to use longer times longer exposure times. In those cases, yes, you definitely need a tripod. Another option that you, that you may uh, run into where you actually need a tripod is if you want to, use, if you want to do uh, some sort of long exposure uh, images. In those cases, of course, you seriously need a tripod because, well, the, uh, the shutter of your camera will be open for a long time. Uh, as, as its name implies. So you need a tripod there. And you probably need a tripod even if you don't think so. For example, um, if you are shooting portraits, even if, even if you're doing it in a studio, uh, I once heard about uh, uh, this uh, piece of advice from Joel Grimes, who received it from a from a teacher, stating that even with a with a fairly high speed of let's say one two hundred and fiftieth of a second, um, even when you use a tripod, you have a better chance of ha of um, of producing a really really sharp image. So, uh, even in those cases, you probably need some sort of support. So, um, what do I recommend? My first and foremost recommendation is this, an actual tripod. This is a design that has become really, really um, popular in which the legs fold up. So in, in this way, you uh, end up using less space. This design is great for travel tripods, and it's just amazing. Even for, um, for, um, ah, for studio work, this is just amazing. This particular tripod is from a, from a Chinese brand called PhotoPro, and I bought it a few years ago. It's very, very, very good probably not the best in the industry, but I really like quite a few things. I like the design the, where the legs fold up. I like that it uses an, an Arca Swiss mounting plate, so I can use many other plates that are compatible with them. Not everything in the Arca, syst Arca Swiss system is compatible, so keep an eye uh, on, 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 the, on that if you are thinking of using the system. But in any case, uh, this is great tri a great tripod, and you can find something similar some, from other brands as well, even from very well-known uh, tripod brands like Las Manfrotto. But you can find something similar to this to this from Mi Photo, from Mi Photo uh, Zero, e, and um, I'm forgetting another one, but I'll remember in a minute. Anyway, um, this is the design that I re recommend the most. Um, it may sound expensive at around 100 and something between 150 and 200 dollars. It may sound kind of expensive, but trust me, your gear is safe with one of those tripods because, well, what you want is to hold your gear, your camera, firmly. 
if the tripod is kind of wobbly, no, it may not work. Your long exposure will look funny. Uh, no, it's it, it won't. It, it is not serving its purpose. So uh, let's imagine that well, you have a camera that is not really big. Let's let's imagine an entry level camera with a kit lens or probably your first normal lens. In that case, my best option, my recommendation is this one. It is, this is a tripod from Manfrotto. The, this is the uh, Pixie Evo. And it's just amazing because, well, as you can see, it's carrying a camera that is not quite um, an entry level and not super light by any means. It's not super heavy, but it's not the lightest uh, in the Fuji lineup. And well, it's pretty firm, pretty much no, no vibrations, things like that. And if you need a bit more support, let's say you need a wider base to be more stable, you can extend the legs a bit and it's even more stable. So I really like this tripod and um, it's not super expensive. It's really easy to carry. And I'm pretty sure that many, many cameras are uh, very safe with, with this um, small support. So I strongly recommend this if you cannot uh, afford for some reason something bigger. Um, if you're using a, some, any other camera that, that, that is lighter than that, let's say you're using some sort of a zoom camera, sorry, a super zoom camera or a bridge camera, um, you probably need something even lighter. In this case, well, I'm holding a cell phone with, uh, with an extra support. And this is the Manfrotto 209. I actually did an unboxing video uh, of this uh, tripod. And um, you can, I use it mostly to hold lights or flashes, but in cases like this, when I, where I need a long exposure using, a, when I'm going to shoot a long exposure using my cell phone, yes, this is a great combination. This is actually amazing. But let's say you want something even lighter, but let's say your camera is also even lighter. Well, the last recommendation that I have here is this one. This I really like because uh, it's not only a tripod. It, this is a pretty old design. Uh, this is not only a tripod. You can also um, flex the, the, um, the legs of the tripod and then use the Velcro to attach the, the, um, the tripod to, let's say, uh, a lamp post or a, um, a chair or, um, I don't know, anything or a tree or something like that. And then your camera will be firm and safe. Uh, this as it is, um, I have used with, um, many bridge cameras that I've owned before, like the, uh, Canon G G12 or a, um, Panasonic Lumix. FZ18 that I used to own a few years ago, of course, with me, with my current action cam, but also with my first rebel, a rebel 2000 with when back when I shot film, but, and I also pl uh, put a, um, Canon D30, my first digital SLR, uh, on this tripod. And it was great back well with the d30 well it, it was um a wobbly situation the the other camera was simply too heavy but the but the rebel 2000 was great and i'm pretty sure you can uh, you can uh place a rebel um t3 or something like that with the kit lens on this one or even better even lighter with the um let's let's say the 40 or 20 28 millimeter the pancake lenses uh you can but on top of this tripod and it will still be firm. What, what are the things that I don't advise you to get? Well, what are those tripods that you may find, let's say at Office Depot or, or supermarkets or things like that? Uh, those are made with um, uh, aluminum, well, tube, well, aluminum tube, and those are really wobbly. You can uh, identify how 
their let's say their extensions are not firm they they have a lot of play here and you can see that even this small tripod you pretty much has it pretty much has no um no no wobbliness here so um those tripods that are really attractive because of their price they're probably around let's say fifty dollars or something like that uh, they may sound tempting but please remember your gear is on top of it so on one side is it may not serve its function because they may be a bit wobbly so if, it, if you're using a long exposure if, sorry if you're shooting a long exposure or you're shooting um, landscapes or even a portrait with that will it will not be your image will not be as sharp as it could and um, so your image quality may suffer but of course you're also risking your gear um, if the the tripod is not firm enough you run the risk of well uh, of the tripod falling over with your gear on top of it so you may end up with a broken camera or broken lens and that's way more expensive than a tripod so look for a more reliable tripod if you cannot afford something kind of big i strongly recommend something something like this this is the manfrotto um, pixie evo it is great um, manfrotto and Men benro and many other brands cr have many different options look at those i'm going to link to those of them below and of course well please remember those are affiliate links so if you use them to buy uh, any of that gear on any of the gear that i'm recommending um you're not you're not going to see any sort of increase in the price but i will receive some sort of commission so if you use them i'm i will be really happy i with this i really hope i helped you uh, select or choose a different tripod for your needs and um, if that is the case please like the video or share the blog post and of course if you think i missed anything or you would like to suggest any other tripods please do, do so in the comment section whether it is on youtube or the blog post if you want to continue seeing these videos, subscribe to the channel. If you prefer the blog post, the written blog posts, subscribe to the weekly newsletter. And uh, if you are kind of new to photography and or would like to get some sort of refresher, um, please get to my uh, online course, learnphotographyin7days.com. And please remember, keep learning and keep shooting.